Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we will take a look at this digital temperature thermostat or a temperature controller. You can also call it a temperature a controller socket socket because it comes with a socket. You can also buy such modules without the socket and that's going to be a little cheaper. But in that you will have to connect your own wire. You will have to uh, connect your own socket which may be a little intimidating for some people. So this is all in one package. You can see on top the model number XKW. 2001 here is your LCD screen comes with three buttons and also another model is available which comes with only two buttons in this uh, model you will get three buttons one is the set button the other button is to increase or decrease the temperature again other one is to increase or decrease the temperature or uh, cycle through different menus you can see temperature controller written here and here is your uh, socket it can take three pin socket and I have a uh, used different sockets and all of them were easily able to fit in this without any problem so let me just open it and show you how it looks and what you get with this so as you can see this is the how the socket looks the socket is very lightweight if you look at the back you can see uh, every information is written in Chinese and with this module you can set the uh, temperature from minus 50 degrees Celsius to 110 degree uh, Celsius uh, and the uh, temperature increment is in about 0.1 degree Celsius. Uh, you can run this uh, thermostat with 110 to 220 volts. Uh, I'm going to be running this with the 220 volts. And everything is, although everything is written in Chinese, but you get three uh, uh, menus, four menus, P0, P1, P2, and uh, this is supposed to be a P3, but they have written it as P2 again. So this is the power cable, uh, let me just open it and measure the length of the power cable. Although this is not going to be uh, that important because we can easily extend the length of the wire. So as I am holding the wire in my hand, it is just a little uh, smaller than 1 meter long, almost 1 meter long and here is your thermistor, your temperature control sensor. Uh, here is your metal temperature control uh, sensor and then there is your insulated wire connected to it. So because this is plastic, we will not be using it for very hot uh, temperatures. In my usage, I will be only using it for uh, aquarium usage and although uh, the company or the such modules are rated for about uh, 10 amperes and they also say that you can run loads up to 1500 watt but I will not be running uh, any load more than 200 or 300 watt uh, with this uh, thermostat module so this is the uh, thermistor or the temperature sensor temperature probe whatever you want to call it and this is also about one meter long and the cable is also decent quality so let me just plug it in and show you how it works okay so I've got my extension here so let me just plug it in and show you how you can set the temperature and how, how what are the different menus that you can uh, see in this thermostat so plugged it in let me turn it on so once you turn it on you can see the current temperature so in the beginning it will display you the current temperature you can see the current temperature at the moment is 21.2 degrees celsius here is your small led which lets you know when the thermostat is sending power through the socket or the thermostat is on or off at the moment it is on here are three different buttons that you can use to, uh, use to set the temperature and go through different menus. Uh, is your set button which will which you can use to go to, into the menus. So if you press the set button, it will take you to the menu option, and then you can use the up and down arrow keys uh, to enter into different uh, menus. You can also use the up and uh, uh, down arrow keys to set the desired temperature. So to set the starting temperature at which you want uh, your thermostat to turn on. Press the set button once, you will show you the P0, P1, P2, P3 and you can keep using the up and down button to go through all these menus. So let me tell you what these P0, P1, P2 and P3 mean. So if you press the set button once, you will see the P0. To enter into P0, press the set button again. So P0 is basically your starting temperature at which you want your thermostat to turn on. So let's let me set the starting temperature. Let's set the starting temperature uh, to uh, 24 degree Celsius. So press the set button. You see P0. Press the set button again. 23. Now use the up and down arrow key. You want to set the temperature to 24. Let's increase it to 24. 
and leave it there wait for a second until it stop blinking so it has now set the starting temperature to 24 to see the starting temperature press the uh, set button go to p0 and press the set button again you can see this is the 24 degrees celsius which is the starting temperature now let me set the ending temperature at which we want our thermostat to turn off so go to the setting button press the up button press the set button so you want to select the p1 setting p1 setting is for your ending temperature let me show you again you press the set button you will see p0 which is your starting temperature up button p1 p1 is your ending temperature you want to set the p1 temperature which is your ending temperature to set the p1 temperature for the ending temperature press the set go to p1 by using the up and down arrow key press the set button 25 let's set it to 26 so we want our thermostat to turn off when the temperature reaches 26 degrees celsius leave it there and our ending temperature is set to see our ending temperature go to the p1 setting press the set button up and down arrow, arrow key p1 setting press the set button again 26 is our ending temperature okay so once our temperature will go below our 24 degrees celsius the thermostat will turn on and as you can see the led is displaying out that means our thermostat is now turned on because the temperature is below 24 degrees celsius and once the temperature will reach above 26 degrees celsius uh, the thermostat will turn off so let me use my hand and warm up the probe so that we can trigger the off turning off of the uh, thermostat let me increase the temperature to about 26 so that we will see that the thermostat will turn off 23 24 25 as you can see as soon as the temperature reached 26 degrees celsius the thermostat turned off and the led is now off that means it is not sending any power into our heater or if you are using it for cooling it will not send any power to your fan so if the temperature goes below 24 degrees celsius the heater will again come on or the thermostat will again come on so to cool down the probe let me blow on the probe so i'm basically blowing on the probe just to show you i'm using a small heat sink here let me put the heat sink on top of the uh, probe to cool it down faster and when the temperature will go 24 degrees celsius so as you saw the temperature went below 24 degrees celsius the heater or the thermostat again came on and this is how you can use this unit uh, to either cool or to either heat your uh, uh, room or a small incubator in my case i will be using this for uh, running aquarium heater so let me show you how I, uh, how I am using this in my heater and before i do that let me show you the other option so I've told you the P P0 setting which is the starting temperature. So P0 setting is the starting temperature, P1 is the ending temperature. Now P2 is your uh, calibration. Let's say your thermostat is a little bit off. So you want to change, uh, let's say your thermostat is 2 degrees over than what it is supposed to be. To change the calibration all you can do is go to the set, press the up and down arrow key to reach the P2 which is our calibration, press the set button again and here you can set decrease the temperature of the thermostat or increase the temperature of your thermostat and then calibrate it in my case it is showing accurate temperature so i'm not doing that and let me show you the final setting which is the pre 3 setting so press the set button up and down arrow key to reach the p the pre 3 setting press again and this is your delay setting and the delay is uh, when you want to put some delay before the thermostat come on if you put a delay on your thermostat this will make sure that uh, once the temperature goes below your uh, starting temperature it will wait for uh, at least a minute or depending upon how much delay you set and then it will turn on it will help uh, in prolonging the life of your heater or fan uh, by preventing it uh, by uh, stopping it from turning on and off again and again or uh, frequently so these are the uh, setting of uh, the thermostat let me show you how i plug it in my heater sorry my tank and how i am controlling my tank water temperature okay so let me show you the heater that i'm using so i'm using this uh, 100 watt sobo stainless steel heater so let me just take this out so here is our heater 
I will be plugging my heater into the thermostat here and let me set the temperature on the thermostat first. So I want my heater to turn on when the temperature in my tank goes below uh, 23 degrees Celsius. So press the set button starting temperature P0, P1 is the ending temperature. So I want the starting temperature to be 23 degrees Celsius at which I want my heater to turn on. So set button P0 press set button again. Let's set the starting temperature to 23. Leave it there. So our starting temperature is set and once the temperature will go below 23 degrees Celsius our heater will turn on and it will start heating our aquarium temperature. And I want my heater to turn off once the temperature reaches 26 degrees Celsius. So let me set the ending temperature which is 26 degrees Celsius. To set the ending temperature press the set button and go to P1 setting. So set up and down P1 set again and it is already set at 26 degrees Celsius. I don't have to do anything. Okay, so it is set at 26 degrees Celsius. Let me plug it in my tank and show you how it works. Okay, so here is my heater. I've attached the suction cup on top of the heater. So let me just uh, attach my heater inside my tank and then we will plug in our heater through the thermostat. Okay, so our heater is attached. Let me plug in my thermostat. Okay, so here is our extension. Here is my thermostat. Let me plug in my thermostat. Thermostat is now plugged in. Let me turn it on. So it is now turned on. As you can see it is displaying 15.7 degrees Celsius. Let me take the probe of my thermostat and put it inside my tank. So you can see the probe inside the tank now. So you can see our probe is right next to our temp uh, aquarium heater thermostat. So if in case the aquarium heater thermostat is not very accurate uh, this probe will uh, keep the temperature of the uh, water of our tank and will tell the accurate temperature to our thermostat which is here and to the thermostat we will plug in our heater so let me just do that before plugging in anything any equipment make sure that you turn it off so let me just plug it in our heater is now plugged in let me turn it on it's now turning and you can see our heater is now in heating position and it is at the moment heating our tank and once the temperature will reach 26 degrees celsius as you can see at the moment the temperature on our thermostat is 15.4 let me zoom it in so you can see the temperature on our thermostat is 15.4 once it will reach 16 deg uh, 26 degrees Celsius, the thermostat will turn off our heater automatically. So let me show you once the temperature reaches close to 26 degrees Celsius. So as you can see the temperature of our tank is increasing and once the temperature will reach 26, the heater will turn off as you saw and the heater is now turned off. So the water will now start cooling and once the water will reach 23 degrees Celsius, the heater will turn on again thereby regulating the temperature of our water so let's wait for the temperature to go down and we will see that uh, what will happen once the temperature goes below 23 degrees celsius okay now let's see what will happen when the temperature goes below 23 degrees celsius i've set my heater to turn on if the temperature goes below 23 degrees celsius so at the moment the temperature you can see is 23.2 and the heater is turned off because we can tell the 
output LED is turned off because the heater is now in an off position and the temperature is slowly decreasing and once the temperature will go below 23 degrees Celsius the thermostat should turn on the heater so let's wait for a couple of seconds for the uh, heater to turn on and the temperature to go below 23 degree uh, Celsius so 23.1 and let's wait for a second okay so as you saw once the temperature reached 23 degrees Celsius uh, the heater turned on because the output LED is glowing that means the thermostat is sending power through the socket and because the heater is now turned on you should see uh, the increase in the uh, temperature of our tank and once the temperature will again reach 26 degrees Celsius again thermostat will turn off our heater thereby regulating the temperature of our aquarium uh, accurately and also we can see the current temperature of our tank uh, on the thermostat itself so there we go this was my video on this digital temperature controller socket comes with three buttons a set button temperature up and down button also comes with the LCD display which displays the current temperature of your tank or any other thing that you're using comes with a LED that lets you know when the socket is powered on or live uh, takes three pin plug also takes two pin plug comes with one meter long thermistor uh, temperature probe and one meter long two pin plug power cable this is my tank and I showed you how it regulates the temperature inside your tank you can also use this uh, for uh, cooling purposes in cooling you will have to set the uh, starting temperature a little higher and the ending temperature a little lower so there you go this is how you use a digital temperature controller socket this is the xkw2001 i hope you found this video helpful if you have any question about this uh, you can ask me in the comments i will try to answer all of them thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye